Whoa, what a funny map this is. Welcome, everybody. We've got Exploding Kings, only there are three Exploding Kings. That's right. We we took the madness that has already been insane, and we made it even more insane. And they started off with Empire Wars? Wow, there's a lot of eco here. Okay, so let me get the introductions in. The key here, though, is that this is Exploding Kings, okay? You need to have one king alive at all times to be alive, otherwise you are defeated. You can change your alliances, you can backstab people, you can also be friends with people to the end of time. Russell here is in the teal, playing as the Ethiopians. In the purple, we have Minjambin, playing as the Byzantines. In the blue, we have Thought 5, 16, 10. Also, Gundrick, the map maker, can you tell me if this was meant to be Empire Wars? Because this is really fast. Uh, in the gray... We have Baronator playing as the Teutons. In the red, we have Gord Slam playing as the Burmese. In the green, we have Lunaris Belia playing as the Celts. In the yellow, we've got Brett playing as the Khmer. And then uh, Geology Wade here, longtime supporter of the channel, playing Lithuanians. So this is a mangrove map. You've got lots of mangrove trees. And the reason I selected this version is because when the kings explode, it's really satisfying to see the resources get cleared out by the nuke. And with so many wood lines here, I feel like it's going to make it an interesting one. Now, one thing that needs to be clarified, if you have seen the previous versions of Exploding Kings, and if you haven't, go back and watch them all, because they're all really fun. Uh, whoops. Uh, this is a bit different because the kings don't do quite as much damage. So there's a little less of a radius for the king explosions. And a king explosion will take a castle down to, uh, I think, 50%. It will not fully destroy a castle. So in theory, what you could do... In theory, you could use two of your kings to try and destroy a castle. I believe that would work. We haven't actually seen this yet on stream. But obviously, if they've got three bombs, three kings, we didn't want... You know, it to be quite as strong as the previous versions. So, um... <laughs> Russell was blaming me. Russell was the host. Yeah, I guess Russell uh, had said it to Empire Wars, but... I think we'll have less Diplo conversation. Because of how much eco there is right now. And the players are going to try and figure that out. Stressful times for them. They know people are watching. And Gord says my fills refuse to build a lumber camp. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, they did start with Lumber Camps because it is Empire Wars. And if you're not familiar with that, you start with pre-established eco. We will see. But for the time being, we have to wait. I mean, someone could ruin the other's eco if they wanted to detonate one of their castles. I think eventually what you want to do... Or detonate one of the kings, excuse me. Um, I think eventually what you want to do is probably spread your kings out. Once you can get castles built and... You can't actually build on this amphibious terrain. FYI. Does anyone know if you can build here? It almost looks like you can't build on that, which is why they couldn't build the lumber camp. So maybe this is regular water. Um, but yes, the players are struggling to get their ecos rolling. For now, I'm going to have this so you can see who's doing the best job. Seems like Russell, actually. Russell and Gord Slam are going to be the first ones heading up towards Castle Age. So, yeah. Basically, you chop through the trees, you can build in all that land. Makes sense. Uh, T90, that's a lot of mangroves. Does it remind you of Florida? Well, it's funny. I actually was in uh, Key West uh, early December with uh, two childhood best friends. And why, why did I say childhood best friends? They're still my best friends. Anyways. And we did, like, a kayaking tour through the mangroves and it was really funny because there's these points where you'd go you dive through the mangroves and there'd be these tiny little paths you've got to navigate through in your kayak and my buddy is really not i love him to death but he's not the most athletic person and he's not the wisest in those situations and so he didn't realize that we were taking our kayak paddle apart yes if you know a kayak paddle it's got a paddle on either side and it's connected to one stick we were, we were taking it apart and kind of paddling like a canoe, right? And so <laughs> he's trying to go through <laughs> and his, his paddles kept hitting the mangroves on either side. It was so freaking funny, man. Oh, my God. 
But yeah, I don't really um, encounter mangroves too frequently <laughs> living down here, but there's definitely plenty of this around. I'm pretty close to the Everglades as well, so there's different... Uh, plenty of nature out there. It's funny, I told my friends, I'm like, I hate the mangrove trees. And he's like, why do you hate these trees? I said, because Age of Empires, man. And then they paddled away from me. Geology, wait! Chatting over here, we've got... Uh, I mean, everyone's friends with each other, so we are having conversations. And Geology Wade says, we're all friends here. Just friends with highly laced explosive diplomats. That's true. That's very true. All right. Were there any manatees? Uh, I have seen manatees before, but no, there were no manatees. We saw like a little tiny shark. Maybe two foot shark, which was cool. Baronator opening up Castlades, going for TCs and longsword upgrade. All right, that's unique. I think we will see aggression. We will see explosions at some point. Hmm. WDW says, so Brett was streaming Apex Legends when I convinced him to enter community games because I'll never get picked, and now he's freaking out. Really? That's amazing. Yeah, something that's so cool to me is, it's like, five years ago, I was a streamer, right? Five years ago, community was obviously smaller. Um... And then, so you have all these people kind of on their own coming into the community. And as the community grew, and as I've done this for a long time, I got to, like, watch friendships form, you know? That's, like, so cool, man. And people are buddies, and I kind of know who's friends. And and some people are, are just, you know, kind of interacting more and more in the Discord channel with different people, too. And, and those, those friendships are blossoming. It's, it's cool, man. It's cool. Russell says, hey, Orange, let's be friends. I like geology. And <laughs> geology calls him out. He says, hello, yes. What's your favorite rock? Oh. Russell says, quartz, probably. I feel like that's a pretty good answer. I, I don't know what I would have said to that. Gray says, hey, Red, do you want to be friends? And Red says, yeah. With a big old smiley face. Also, are you ever going to build this TC, Baronator? What's going on, buddy? Saving that for later or what? Oh, he's trying to build the TC, but the antlers for the deer are blocking the TC foundation. And he continues to click it because he doesn't understand why this is happening. <laughs> he thinks it's this deer. He doesn't realize the deer carcass is just barely on that tile. Oh my god. Gray! <laughs> just move it. There we go. Hey, yeah. Okay. Very good call here from Geology. He says he thinks Navy will be good. Oh, no, it will. It will. And look what Minjambin's doing. Minjambin has played in community games many, many times. And Minjambin is starting to relocate kings in different positions. Do you see this? This is exactly how you should play it. And also going for water control. With that water control could take out so many villagers and maybe even surround the islands the kings are on. So I, I have to say that the way that Minjambit's playing this is smart. Also, Byzantines are a really good water suit. Okay, I almost can't believe my eyes. Blue is on the way to the Imperial Age right now. That's a pretty crazy imp time. I feel like most of these civs are actually fairly capable on water. Maybe Teutons are the worst on water. Um... I think, I think maybe Teutons and Celts might be the worst on water, but Celts also have... Some sick options too. Okay. Yellow says, Hey, orange, want to be best friends? Geology says, Always BF forever. And yellow says, I love you. That's cute. I'm a little disappointed Geology Wade didn't respond to Russell's statement that Quartz was his favorite rock. And now Purple says, Hey, orange, but he's saying this. Out loud to everyone, he says, if you don't delete your TC by my base, I'm going to nuke it. Whoa! <laughs> Geology Wade says, hey, Purple, you go ahead. You'll be one king down. Oh, my God. Top 10 epic community game responses ever. Top 10. That was amazing. And Purple responds, this is feisty, way feistier than I expected. And Purple says, and you'll be dead. 
Geology says, that TC won't kill me. And Gray's like, uh, everyone heard that. And Orange says, besides, it's not your base, it's clearly my base. I mean, that's a fair argument. This is not... This is... This is a territory that you have to discover and control. But now we know that these guys are going to fight. There is actually a king here for Minjambin, who I don't think Geology should necessarily mess with because Minjambin is one of the best players in this game in terms of skill. Um, there is another t uh, king here for Minjambin, and the other one's here. So again, you get three kings. You need one king alive to stay alive. So exploding kings with three kings. We've never done this before. And look at Green. Green has seen the conflict between the others. And so he's now asking if he can take that relic. He doesn't want that drama, you know? Life's already dramatic enough. Just want to be friends with everybody, I guess. Now, to be fair, uh, Min Jambin can just go for Navy to kill this. He doesn't actually have to use one of his kings. I think he just wanted to use them, you know, threaten him in the biggest way possible. Okay. Baronator's asking about Relic Victory, which is a weird thing. Russell hasn't made any Navy, so Russell's just going to be crossing his fingers that Purple doesn't get too upset with this. And here comes Blue with Tarkins, guys. I think he wants to help Purple out here. And they hadn't even talked before, but Blue says, I got you, Perp. And I mean... The Tarkins could attack the walls. Tarkins are good at destroying buildings, but there's not too many upgrades right now. Okay, in Orange's base, we have a couple galleys from Minjambin. No kings went down, though. And Geology Wade, who's not on the way to Imp, neither is Minjambin. Uh, Geology Wade is going to clear that. Okay. Orange and Green, this is a chat for us, says Yellow. Want to be a trio. Ooh, want to be a trio. Orange is clearly distracted. I think these villagers will end up going down. That's about a third of his eco, so this does actually hurt him. And Geology Wade says yes, like we need this, and Green says yeah. Also, what happened here? I guess no villagers. Ah, there they go. No villagers had finished that. I mean, Red doesn't seem too trusting of Green. They haven't talked much. Gray now says purple is scary. I, do you guys think the purple made a mistake saying what he said publicly to everyone? I think purple made him enemy number one in most players' eyes the second he said all that stuff publicly. It was a direct threat. It was a sign that he has no... that he won't hesitate to kill people. And that's going to scare your average player and make them think twice about teaming up with this guy. The problem is he has the skill to back it up. And now he's calling Teal out. He says, Teal, are you protecting Orange? Listen, I know some people in the comments are going to be like, this guy's a jerk. I know that instinctively you're going to say that. Minjambin is, yes. the, is the evil that we need in community games. There's so many community games where people are just like, oh, I don't want to kill you. You seem like you're a really nice guy. No, this is good. Teal, are you protecting Orange? And Teal says yes, which is probably a mistake. And Grace says, want to be friend. I have no clue who he's talking to, but I will say that Blue and Purple look very strong right now. What's funny is Purple didn't even ask Blue to be buddy-buddy. Blue just basically said, hey, I'm here for you. And you got, you got Blue saying yes, I think, to Gray. So I don't know if Blue is trying to gain the trust of Purple to turn on him later or what this is exactly. But I can tell you Geology needs some help here. Geology, not in the Imperial Age yet. Russell is, though. Russell could maybe make some stuff here. I think that Purple has to either turn on Russell right now. Or he has to ensure that Russell's going to fight alongside him. Imp upgrades need to come in for Minjam, but who's made Cataphracts as well. He has done the best job at separating his kings. Hmm. T90 during Christmas, the time for peace. No, I want everyone to fight to the death. Yes! There's nothing greater, there's nothing more heartwarming 
then being able to sit around, uh, you know, like after you eat dinner with your family at Christmas time, to be able to sit down after all that lovely time together and watch people hate on each other and destroy each other in community game. It's it's really a lovely thing. <laughs> I shouldn't say hate. Obviously, there's no hard feelings here. Hate's a strong word. Here comes Green, uh, part of that trio, and he's going to send Galleons over to help. Orange does have one of his kings here. I think he's he feels as though if it starts to get too bad, he's going to detonate one of his kings. That could take out Russell. And, uh, you know, something that Geology will need is Bracer. He doesn't have that yet. Bracer and Chemistry now on the way from Minjambin. And here come the Cav Archers from Blue. I think they're going to turn on Teal. Russell needs to help out. Russell is making a lot of galleys, actually. So he's going to lose his wood line to Blue. Wait a second. What's in that transport ship? We have a king! We have a king! Okay, Orange has a king out in the open here. Orange has a king in the TC, and Orange has a king here. All three of his kings. We three kings are going to die. This is, this is the moment for purple. Just delete it. Just delete it. You could kill Orange with this. It goes down, and we change the way it works with the countdown. It's harder to pick out uh, like how long is left, but it clearly shows where the king died. And this could be the end for Geology Wade. He didn't have the support that he needed. And all three kings are in the same spot, which is, has to be seen as a big mistake. No reaction from him. He doesn't know this is happening, and he is defeated. And now there will be three nukes that go off, which means clear out with your, with your army here. Geology Wade. I mean, he talked back to Purple. He, he definitely had some self-respect. He talked back to Purple when Purple told him to delete the TC. He might die with dignity, but he is dead. And now we're going to get to see more explosions go off. There you go. You can see the radius isn't quite as extreme. And Geology Wade says, LMAO, I forgot about my king, just stood out in the open. Yeah, I don't think that he actually knows how that happened. I think he, he thought he lost that king to a snipe. So honestly, that's what I wanted to see from this game mode. Purple now has only two kings remaining, but you only need one to win the game. Purple says, Blue, you and me are going to be last two. We'll see if Blue agrees with that. Now guys, randoming into Byzantines, because they went random sieve. Randoming into Byzantines, when even a non-Byzantine castle does not get destroyed by one single king, is amazing. Here, this is, this is an amazing spot for Purple to be in. He is clearly the favorite. And Gray says, let's attack blue. I don't know if he's saying, let's attack blue or let's attack, comma, blue. Because I think he's teamed with blue. But I think he wants to fight with blue, but the way he wrote that has me confused. And blue says, who next? And purple says, let's do gray. Meanwhile, yellow says, are we friends? I really just want to be friends. Oh, blue, blue says, lol, I'm going to backstab. I feel bad. Okay, so blue is saying, I don't want to kill gray right now. And purple... <laughs> Purple is just strong-arming people into action. He says, I'm stronger than Grey. You want me as ally. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm honestly loving Minjambin's aggressiveness. He says, Blue says, cold, bro, but let's do it. This is cold. This is really aggressive, but it's so smart. Purple realizes that if he's going to be this rude and this aggressive, that he wants to kill people as quickly as possible... And wait a second, wait a second. Gray's running with one of the kings into Blue's base. So now Blue is going to have reason to not... <gasps> one king here. One king here. One king here. Blue will lose two of his kings. And maybe the Cav Archers as well. Okay, Blue noticed it. He rang the town bell, so I think he noticed it. But if he has kings inside of the town centers, he will lose two. I think this one will survive. Great job from Grave. He goes down. He's going down while taking Blue down with him. And wait a second. Blue actually survives with all of his kings. Wow. And the town bell wasn't too bad. Gray, of course, will have more kings to use. Gray is Tutans making champions. Not very good against Navy. Not very good against Cav Archers. But that did still set Blue back. 
And this is kind of what Blue gets for backstabbing. Something that Blue had just said a moment ago. He'd feel bad, and now he feels really bad. Second king is here. Third king is here for Gray. And Purple says, come to me if you need help. Yeah, I'm sure you'd love that, Purple. I'm sure you'd love for Blue to go to you. Honestly, it might not be a bad play for Blue to send kings into Purple's base. And just say, protect me or you die too. Okay, so no one is helping Gray. And we have an engagement over here. And it is yellow. Wait, there's a king in there. Uh, you see that? Someone's king died. And a lot of navy's about to go down. The green and yellow are fighting off red, but I'm not sure whose king just died there. And wow. Wait, was that multiple? I thought castles weren't supposed to be destroyed like that. Holy crap. That's at 57 HP. So that was a tactical one. Maybe from red. I like to see red's got one there. One there. Yeah, I think that was red who sacrificed a king. Meanwhile, no one is protecting gray. So we could easily see more explosions. But it's very hard for gray to get his king anywhere of importance now. As Red just received resources from Gray. So Gray is clearly like signing off here. He's like, my life is over. I'm going to do for you what I can. God, Blue's got a king out in the open and everything there. This is crazy. I don't know if Red can do it alone, though. Not against Celts with this much navy, this many halves. I mean, I just don't see a world where Purple ends up losing this game right now. Wait a second. We have Teal. I forgot about Russell. Russell's at Purple's base. Guys, Gray just called the GG. Does he... Oh, he's got one king remaining. Oh, I was wondering where the other one went. He just lost one out here. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of navy from Russell. Now, he needs cannon galleons. It looks like he has some in queue to be able to take out those castles and push Purple. And Purple now has to react to this. Meanwhile, that push continues over here from green and yellow. We have ballista elephants from yellow. Green and yellow are the arguably the strongest alliance right now. Right? Because they're working together and they both have not been damaged. Whereas blue is in a very weak position because he decided to turn on gray. The Baronator now turns on purple. And, okay, Gray has one more king remaining. He knows this is over for him. He's going to try and get blue with it, which is incredible. So there he goes. Don't lose your transport ship, though. If you lose the transport ship, there will not be an explosion. Okay, there he goes. He's on land now. He must think that blue might be in there, but he's going to make sure that he gets as close as possible to whatever he can. Remember, blue has three kings. And Blue, just like before, notices this and rings the town bell. I, I feel like the tower should go down. Gray, well played. Gray deserves our salutes and respect for how he did this. He is not allowing Blue and Purple to get away with killing him like this. And there goes the explosion. And another king just went down. Okay, so we have this king. And this king is also really close to this castle. So there's a chance that maybe the castle ejects the kings. I don't think there's a castle that Blue will lose those. Or a chance that Blue will lose the kings, excuse me. Russell is is avenging geology, Wade. He's like, let's go courts. Let's go courts. He loves his rocks. Wait, what? Was that a dud? What? Did you see that? It didn't even take out any trees. I think that was a dud. I didn't know that was possible. And here's Blue with his cab archers. That's not going to help too much. Blue really needs a reboom. Blue only has 49 villagers, and Russell's just destroying everyone. So much for Byzantine cab. Oh, okay. Remember, Purple's had two kings. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Explosion went off big time. Another explosion went off. There's multiple kings at work here. Wait a second. It's so hard to keep track. So purple has one. 
So I think Russell used one, and it then took out Purple. That was crazy. And it actually took out a fair amount of Russell's Navy, so... Not sure who really started it all off there. Someone who can pay attention more than myself would maybe be able to pick up that one. But Benjamin's down the one king. I know that for certain. Blue's down the two. Yeah, two. All right. So red is still alive. I think red has two. And red honestly should consider using one here. Uh, actually, I'm checking. I only see red has one. Unless it's somewhere else, which is highly unlikely. He is making demo ships, though. And red says this is not good. And yellow and green still still fighting on strong here. But Russell's back with a vengeance. Good army count. Good cue for him. Just so hard to kill the Byzantines. Fire ships, though? I mean, these aren't even fast fires. But fire ships and demos have actually done an okay job here. What you really need is you need to have some of a buffer if you're green and yellow, like fire ships or demos in front, and then you're fine. But in the end, I think red. He's fighting on his own here, so. I think red needs to have a conversation with somebody. He needs an ally. I think Russell is allied. Yeah, he's trading with trade cogs. He is allied with yellow and green, so. Feels like the players who are fighting on in Geology Wade's honor doing very well. Ah, uh, there's only normal demo in this version, so there's no heavy demo? Interesting. I, I was wondering if Burmese didn't get it. Good to know. Yeah, there's just so much coming in from green and yellow all the time. Red will eventually die to this. And red has one king. So, could try... Uh, you know what would be epic? From yellow would actually be a ballista elephant cut through the side. Yeah, I was thinking Red could try and send his king somewhere else. Wait a second, what the... Blue's got Tarkin, 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 and king? <laughs> what? To go after a player who's already dying? Oh god, the king's in that transport. The king just sunk! The king just sunk! It's a wasted king, he's got one remaining, he couldn't get the explosion to even happen. Oh, what a disaster. Meanwhile, Baronator should be like, Ha! Serves you right, Blue. Would have worked if I was still alive. Jeez, man. Uh, you have to question the judgment there from Blue. Because I don't see what he gets from killing Red. I believe the logic was simple. The logic was, I'm probably dead. I want to kill somebody. Because killing people is cool. And I want to tell my mom about it, you know? Blue actually had cab archers in there. He probably forgot about it. Because they've been there for so long. But yeah, Russell is overwhelming Minjambin with numbers. Which we have, of course, said many times before. Him having a little bit of trade and a lot more map control has certainly gone a long way for him here. Red's king is... Where? Oh my god, does he even know about that? I... I doubt he knows about that, but maybe he does. He's making its new TC right next to it. And Blue says, my king was a dud, question mark. When you... When you lose your king, it's very hard to know where things are, because he, he has no vision there, right? If it's against an enemy, he has no vision. But he didn't hear anyone scream out. It seems like he's figured out Maybe that did not work. So purple has one king or two right now? Still two, I think. No, it's just one. It's just that this TC is hiding the fact that the king is in the other TC, which is smart. But only having one king is it's not too good. He needs to somehow get some damage in on Russell. Imagine sniping a king with some cataphracts. You got to keep those kings protected right now. Uh, Red's king is on the move right now. Okay. So Red is allied with Russell, and that's it. Everyone else that he's allied with is dead. So he could honestly send it over to Blue. That's what I would do. I would send it to Blue. Because Blue tried to hit you, but he might not know that. Honestly, feels like he's trying to save his pop so he can survive. 
Um, doesn't seem like he wants to be offensive with that. All right, so Red's King out in the open. Probably won't be tracked down. There's not a ton of gold for green. Yellow does have gold, though. And yellow's making a ton of cannon galleons, too. I'm trying to think about who I have as my favorite to win this now. Maybe yellow. I mean, his resources are looking good. He's also the strongest player in the alliance with green. No, green has helped. It's just green doesn't have the resources. Russell has also played really well, but I think he and purple are just tossing so many resources away against each other that they'll both kind of be in worse positions, but I don't know. He does have a lot of trade. And then blue, blue just needs to take some time to reboom. Like, blue needs to add more villagers, add more farms, and try and get back into this. Blue lost his pop and then just said, well, this is my life now. See the micro there from purple? Good micro. Yeah, blue comes in with the Tarkins as well. Purple and blue will push this back, I think. And Red's King's still there. Some villagers trying to flee. Red without a town center, but with the resources to make one. And we'll go there. Okay. I think Blue is being hesitant with his Tarkin numbers because he knows he can't make more of them right now. But Blue... Uh, Purple needs to realize that if Blue isn't fighting, that he should not be fighting because Teal has way more. Hey, okay. The Tarkins are pretty good at tanking, but... Not a fight I'd be taking if I were Purple. Is there a world where we ever see yellow, green, or teal backstab each other here, chat? Um, I don't think so. I think the way this game ends all comes down to how long it takes for them to kill purple. By the way, Red's King is so close to being caught out here. So close. But yeah, you have to assume Red's going to die soon. They'll probably focus all their attention on purple and blue. Because purple, from the get-go, was incredibly mean to their ally. And killed the ally. And then there will be three players remaining that are allied. And we'll see if anyone wants to go for the jugular there. Hmm. They got Siege Workshop going down. Blue is contributing with navy now. And that's a sign that Teal needs a little bit of support. Green has to decide on how green wants to approach this, because I think green is allied with blue, but not with purple. Honestly, it'd be a really good move for blue to turn on purple right now. He should see the way this is going, and he should be... He should backstab purple, and that, that will maybe, <laughs> after it's all said and done, make gray like him again, even though gray's dead. Hmm... Uh, they need to research trees and to find out where that king is. Purple is a crazy pop, but it's because of 139 vills. Does not have too many vills on gold. And here you have green. Yeah, going in against purple. This is going to be the end. This is going to be the end for purple. I mean, if I, I shouldn't say it like it's 100%. Because with these resources, you can maybe see halbs from Byzantines. But the end of the water control, at the very least... Now, if you were a little backstabber, if you saw that this was going to go down to two or three players, you might consider going for some snipes here. Just saying, yellow with those resources and being Khmer could consider doing some funky business. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. No way. No way, Blue. He somehow made it through with Tarkins. He's going to kill one of Teal's kings. Wow, that's one of the most unpredictable snipes of the year, actually. Where did that come from? And Russell will still be alive. But Russell is going to lose so much due to this explosion. Oh, my word. He's going to lose his docks, guys. How did Blue get through there? I guess he looped around this side. Also, Tarkins can still destroy buildings. And the Tarkins stay alive! Oh, my God! Wait, how many kings does Russell have? Is this his last one? Oh, no! Tarkins do not make a lot of sound in DE. They used to thump before DE. It used to be thump, 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 thump. Oh my god, Russell realized it! And Russell is going to send his king forward! 
And he has navy to protect the king. How far can the king go? Now, does he know? Did he know about that? Maybe, maybe he just ran out of um, protective spaces. Maybe he realized that he needed this is the safest spot. I have no clue. Purple says figures. He's still doing a good job at popping up. He's going to go halves. His pop is still looking strong. Where did Russell's king go? Here's Russell's king. I think Russell's tried to click his king back to a building. But please don't tell me he clicked it back to that castle. Dude, you've got other castles here. Russell. Russell. Oh! No. And Russell's defeated. He had another castle. The safest spot for him would have actually been the navy. And blue somehow kills off Russell, a player who is overwhelming his teammate. Russell says, am I dead? And then realizes and says, ugh, so much lag. Well, what a play from Blue. That was so good. That said, Blue's about to die. Because this is Blue's final king. Red is still alive. Red is still rebooming. Gord Slam's not giving up. Gord Slam has two pop. A king and a villager. Um, where, where am I looking for again? Here. This should be the end for Blue. Because that is Blue's final king. We'll see if Blue maybe wants to, to save his king. Because he does have some pop. He could try and send it over towards purple. There's actually a gap in the wood line there. How fortunate is that? What? What? Are you kidding me? Wait, he's attacking purple. What? Well, okay, so he knows he's going to go down and he wants to take purple out. Holy crap, man. The red confidently says, I got this, guys. Purple will lose buildings here. Remember, Purple's Byzantine, so won't lose too many buildings and has 170 pop. We can see the lag that T was talking about. And I imagine Purple's going to want to hold on to some of the Navy numbers, but it might not be too important now that the other player... <laughs> now that the other player of Teal is dead. But that's going to make it so difficult without gold to be able to push that back. I think he's going to have to go pointy, boys. And so we have blue out, gray out, orange out, teal out. We have four players remaining. Red is rebooming, but red has no friends. Russell's actually rooting for him. Again, yellow. Oh, wow. It's going down between yellow and green. They're not friends anymore. I knew that someone would get antsy and try and go for the kill. So green and yellow are breaking their alliance. So there's like no alliances whatsoever at the moment. Everyone wants the victory. And God knows that there's going to be explosions here. I think the explosions should be happening shortly if green can't defend the kings. There's two kings in this TC. There's one within the castle. If the castle one goes down, the TC ones will go down. Yellow simply saw his opportunity. And he struck first. And green, I don't even think has noticed this, honestly. I think green was still going for yellow. And oh no, green is coming home. It's a very overwhelming situation right now for green. And during these situations, you're going to try and get pop up. But now he's pop, he's pop capped, sorry. I just wish yellow would finish off the castles first. Finish off the castles. There you go. Yeah, green is going to be too pop capped to do anything about this, guys. All three kings are inside of that TC. If one dies, the rest should die depending on where they run, of course. And yellow knows they're in there. He did research treason. He's looking, maybe they ran away. Treason doesn't show the whole time. Maybe his cannon galleons can't range the TC from this side. I can't really tell. It feels like they can't hit the TC from this side, but can hit from this side somehow. Green still howls. Needs to add more houses. It's panic time. Castle would work as well. And, and honestly, this has given Purple an opportunity to just rest and boom, which would be terrifying for everyone else. Purple is on his own, which is exactly how he likes it, I think. <laughs> he doesn't have to worry about controlling anything but his own gameplay. Green, you could use a king. I, I, I understand the instinct to try and keep all your lives alive. But you could use a king here. A lot of players have been sacrificing a king. You could send one forward, and it would damage yellow's 
uh, position when trying to kill the rest of your kings. I don't know about using one here. This is a problem. But using one here certainly would make sense. Now, Russell is kind of blocking purple from going this way. But I think purple will eventually whittle it down. And Teal says, just someone beat purple, please. <laughs> Teal's dead, of course, but he just wants someone to beat purple. Okay, if you had to choose in a 1v1 to have Byzantines controlled by Minjambin or Khmer controlled by Brett, who would you choose to win the game? Assuming that red doesn't reboom back into the game. Okay, assuming that doesn't happen. Assuming that green gets finished off. I mean... I don't want to offend either player, because I feel like yellow and purple played really well. But I think purple had pr has probably show had to show more to stay alive in this game. He's been challenged more, and he's overcome it. And so for that reason, I think I would say I would choose purple. But that's the only reason. It's not I, Yellow just hasn't been tested as much, quite simply because he's been smarter with the diplomacy. Yellow says, send the gold. Okay, here are the three kings. <laughs> no. Wait, is green intentionally moving? That Wait. You're friends with them again? Wait, what? You get all three of his kings out in the open, and then you ally him? I'm so confused. Ally me back and send gold, says yellow. Okay, so yellow is saying, I'll let you live if you give me gold. Okay. So green has allied him. Purple's not allied. Purple's here. It's just scouting. Just passing with halves. Okay, this might not actually be bad for yellow because he's damaged green's chances of killing him. But he's still keeping green in the game to have someone to fight with. Okay, now green has sent the gold. This is right after yellow turned on him again. And so now yellow should ally him again. He's probably getting around to doing that. I mean, if he doesn't get around to doing that, eventually one of the kings die. King dies. Did Yellow not realize the resources came in? And now Yellow says all is fair in love and war. Wait, did Yellow just get gold from the guy and then turn on them again? Was this part of his plan? That's actually really smart. And now Green's going to lose all three kings. Uh, well, actually, no way. Green's on the run. Green, run to yellow's base. Do not lose your king. Okay, you could lose one here, two here. That's fine. Okay, rip. All right, all right. Well, green's been defeated. Green said he would give 5k. Did he say that? Yellow, can you spare me if I send 5k? And he only sent 1,300. I don't know if he had 5k. I think he had 4k. Well, yellow needs to get out of here because all this army could go... Oh! Oh, the navy and the army went down. Green fought well. Green fought well. I think yellow was just too aggressive. I was wondering if someone would do that. Meanwhile, on the other side, Minjambin has 100 villagers, one king, and his Byzantines, 130 pop. Yellow has 100 villagers, tons of navy and army, 10k gold, and three kings? Got one? We got two? It's hard for me to keep track of the king situation. But we've got three for yellow as well. Guys, red is rebooming. Red is still in this game. Remember, red has no friends. No, red is allied with Manjambin. Oh! Red's also allied to yellow, but yellow isn't allied to him, so that's a little tricky. Red is not finished. Gord Slam... Lights on. Now, I guess in theory, red and purple could trade. They they both are going to need gold. Yellow, though, is clearly just going to work his way over to f kill off Minjampin. Red says, let's get yellow. He hurt me. And Minjampin says, okay. I can't tell who's strong. Which is a fair statement. I think what you have to rely on for the time being, if you're purple, is a lot of halbs. Um, Halbs actually do have a bonus against ships. You're still probably going to lose your army continuously, but if you have 
enough barracks, you can maybe spam enough halves because Byzantine's a very cheap trash. Um, Blue is, is trying to talk to these players. Blue, you are defeated, my friend. Uh, that will not reach them. And Red has spotted some golds here. And Purple says he's bringing his army through the bottom, which is just really poor timing. <laughs> he had no clue that Yellow was about to arrive. And yep, now he comes back. And now he's like, uh-oh, this is not good. Thing is, Burmese don't get fast fire. I think they do get Galleon, though. Can someone check the Burmese water tech tree? You can't go heavy demo on this map. Because they needed... Uh, Gundrick needed to use a demo, I guess, for the explosion. Um, yeah, dead people can talk to each other. It's like if you're up in heaven, you can communicate with all your friends and family in heaven. But you can't communicate communicate with people on Earth, I guess. Minjambin has one king and is inside of that castle. I don't think Minjambin can hold on against Yellow if Yellow sends everything. That said, Yellow has really not protected his cannon galleons. He needed more fast fires here. That's okay for purple. But I'm just thinking about the eco, man. Like... I think Manjambit's eco is going to get destroyed by the fire ships. It'd probably hold for a bit, though. As we have the fire ships going after the castle. Is that the play here? He's, he's scared of this. He's now repairing the castle. I don't think this is a correct move from yellow. Because there's double castle fire from purple. You're not engaging against any of his uh, navy. And then... Oh, God. He's running in. Okay. Yellow, if you're going to run in... Take this castle out first. There you go. That's good. Th this is better, because now he's at least taking out buildings, but hopefully he'll have the reinforcements. I think it comes down to that. If he's got more units on the way, it might not matter. And purple is working off of limited resources. Red, hoping to maybe surprise here. He has to kill three kings. He's got one. It could be very tricky to be able to kill off yellow, but if anyone's going to do it, it will be red. It won't be purple. And the problem now for purple is that that one king is exposed. And basically, purple's existence from here on out is to buy red time. What a great game from purple. He's, he's patrolling in with halves and galleons. He might end up doing an okay job with this fight. His king is fleeing to the left. I'd like to see more halves from him out of his barracks. I know he doesn't have too many anymore. But I think that would be key in keeping him in this game. Red is slowly pushing Yellow's space here. So it seems like Yellow has noticed this now because he's getting fast fires prepped. And honestly, fast fires are just way better than fires, so... Yellow could do an alright job there. Yellow's got so much navy in queue. Not a whole lot else. Just mainly the navy. But we have Hussars now for red. And, and honestly? I mean, he's definitely going to clear out these buildings here. I, I'm unsure if he could push through here. But it feels like maybe there's a chance for purple and red if they stick together. Because yellow can only hit 200 pop. Yeah, they have, they both, both red and purple have to beat yellow without relying on bombs. The bombs that I think needed to hit yellow would probably green's kings. And they all died at once. Green just, I think green trusted yellow as he should have, right? He trusted yellow. He never thought that yellow would turn on him. But yellow realized the victory was possible and went for it. This is kind of funny. We've got ballistas and fast fire ships. Honestly, with these numbers, Red might do an okay job here. I, I don't know how regular fire ships do against ballistas. Um, seems good enough, I guess. Yellow has a 170 pop, a potential for 200. Purple has um, 170 pop, a potential for 200. And Red's got 180 pop with potential for 200. Red's got 90 villagers on wood right now. That's as many villagers as Yellow even has on the map. As we see Hussar raids now. 
This has turned into a slugfest here. And I think yellow needs to kill red or purple soon, or he's going to have some big problems. Wait, now we see heavy demo? Or is it that you can research heavy demo, but it doesn't work? Sorry, Gundrick, the map maker, told me there was no heavy demo. Maybe you can research it, but it doesn't work. Yellow's got 2k gold, but he does not have a lot of trade. It says he has three on gold. I'm not sure if those are trade carts or miners, but... I mean, he too could spam Hussar. He could also spam Halb. I just don't see this working too well. Or yellow, if he, he's just going to be outnumbered. How did Red reboom back into this game? It's honestly insane. Oh, and here are the gold miners. Okay. Yeah, heavy demos are on the way. Gundrick. Gundrick says it shouldn't be possible. WTF? Yeah, he's making heavy demos, dude. So, hopefully it doesn't crash the game or something. Gotta love the navy pathing on this type of a terrain. Yeah, heavy demos would be really helpful too. At least against the fires and the helps. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping the game Wait! What just happened? Did Yellow use one of his kings there? I think Yellow might have used one of his kings there. Purple lost so much. And purple Oh! Whoa! Wait a second. That has something to do with the demos, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait a second. I don't think it's possible that Yellow detonated his kings. I think it's a bug. Yep, Yellow's got all of his kings. And when he ejected them from the docks... <laughs> when he ejected them from the docks, he died. Oh, no. Oh, no. The demos instantly went off just like a freaking nuke, man. And here, Yellow feels like a god. Yellow's like, I did it. Yeah, I'm a beast. But actually, that's a map bug. Oh, that sucks for purple. I mean, it's funny because Russell's in chat like, Yeah, get him, kill him, uh. But that, my friends, shakes things up. And I can only apologize to Minjambin because that was a map bug, my friend. That was a map bug. That should not have happened. And now that, that puts yellow potentially back in the driver's seat. I mean, red's, red's got villagers on gold, though. So who knows? Yeah, I don't think any of us knew exactly what was going to happen <laughs> with the demos. I, I thought that it might crash the game. I didn't know that it would lead to a nuke explosion. Well, guys, we could be upset with Gundrick, or we could just appreciate that mistakes happen, and Gundrick has made a lot of maps for us, so it's it sucks, but uh, you've got to have some level of understanding with it. He does it out of the kindness of his own heart. And now we know. Now we know. Okay. Well, Yellow's got quite a queue here. He's going Halb and Navy. Red, he doesn't have as big of a queue right now. And he's making worse Navy, and he's making Hussars. Which is like the worst unit to make in this situation. He needs Halbs. Burmese infantry gets extra attack. He needs Halbs. Halb has to be the priority. Lacking fast fire is not something he can really do uh, anything about because he's he's unfortunately Burmese. And we know that getting heavy demo would probably be a mistake. But yellow now, looking like he could win this one. We do have elephants coming. But can he afford to make elephants long term? He does have the upgrades. It just feels like if there's enough pointy boys, the elephants will still go down. And the gold will go down for red, who again has one king, guys. He's got one king. This could be the end soon for him. His king is back here. Castle goes down. He won't have that to protect him. Yellow's got so much pop coming over here. And red is actually just going to call it here. I think he knows the situation. He knows he can't push this back. Honestly, sucks that Gray has so many buildings and farms here because he hasn't been able... Red hasn't really been able to get more buildings down, which I think hurt him here. And GG, the king goes down, and we have ourselves a winner with Brett. Who apparently was freaking out, apparently was playing some Apex, and was like, nah, I won't get into this. 
That's what he told his friend. And he got into the game, which he didn't expect. And he got the win, too. Wow. Well, I, I feel bad for, for Purple because it was clear there. When Purple died due to that bug, the game shifted. Min Jambin was probably the most interesting game in this community game because of his demand to Orange early on and how he treated Blue as well. He straight up told Orange, hey, I'm going to explode your TC if you don't move. And then Orange said, well, good, do it. And then started that conflict. And then, of course, Purple Kill ended up detonating one of his kings to kill Geology Wade, which was sick. Then after that, Blue had uh. promised Grey friendship. And Purple goes to him, hey, we're going to kill Blue right now. Or uh, we're going to kill Grey right now. And Blue goes, no, I'll feel bad. <laughs> and Purple's response was, well, I'm a stronger ally than him, so you need to make a decision. <laughs> oh, God. And then Blue kind of felt pressured into attacking Grey, which I think good for Blue. Uh, or good for Grey. Sorry, I can't speak now all of a sudden. Uh, Grey did not go down without a fight. But, man, that was that was such a fun game. And that's the first time we've done the Three Kings thing. What do you guys think about it? I, I think that it involves a bit more strategy than your average one king game and i also kind of like how every explosion doesn't kill everything i mean i i love the explosions that kill everything as well we're not going to get rid of that but i felt as though there was more strategy to it being able to use the kings offensively uh being able to use one of your lives essentially to clear out an army so you could allow yourself to breathe um you know, for a diplomacy game, when we're looking for strategy and backstabs and... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. What are you doing, computer? One second. I'm going to fix this because it's happened the other day, and I know how annoying that is for you guys. Okay, that should never happen again. Um, Yeah, I just I just think it, it throws more things into the mix for community loud. games. That's exactly what we want for community games. So, hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. Let's look at the statistics. And Jambin ended the game with 826 kills. Also, quite a few kills from Gord Slam, from Russell, and from Brett. Um, you see, Jambin had more food in this game. He did expand well towards the corners with his farming eco. But it was yellow with all that wood, stone, and gold. And his food count wasn't too shabby either. Yellow hugely benefited from Geology Wade dying. And then Russell dying as well. And then being stronger than green at that time. Like, I think... Yellow would never feel confident enough to attack green if Geology Wade was there. Or if, if Russell was there. Because they'd say, hey! That was our buddy. We had an alliance. But it just became such an easy spot for yellow to, to take green while green wasn't expecting it. And then, of course, on the other side, like, purple was, was severely weakened... Due to some of the other players as well. Yellow took all of his opportunities at the proper times. Um, yeah, there's a timeline for you. I mean... Okay, did you guys hear that one? Because my stream PC is just hitting me with notifications nonstop. I literally disabled the settings. There should be no audio coming through. Hold on, I can actually make it so... All the notifications from my stream PC just started coming in at once. Oh, you didn't hear anything there? Okay, that's really good. Because it's a really obnoxious notification. Anyways, uh... Red was rebooming like a madman. An absolute madman. And I think if Purple wouldn't have had that bug, Red might have even been able to play a role in that game. So, well done, Red, for not quitting there. A lot of players would have. GG.